For decades, astronomers have speculated about the existence of a hidden giant lurking in the outer reaches of our solar system, Planet Nine. A mysterious, unseen world, possibly a gas giant almost as massive as Neptune, influencing the orbits of distant Kuiper Belt objects with its immense gravitational pull. But until now, it's remained just that, a theory, a ghost in the cosmic machine. That is, until a quantum AI system, sifting through the vast troves of data from the James Webb Space Telescope, uncovered something extraordinary. Hidden within the telescope's deep field scans were subtle gravitational anomalies, tiny distortions in the fabric of space itself, and faint infrared signatures that shouldn't be there. These weren't random blips in the data. They formed a pattern, a trail of breadcrumbs pointing towards something massive, something dark, and something that shouldn't have gone unnoticed for this long. NASA insiders are reportedly stunned. The implications? Nothing short of revolutionary. So how did we get here? How did a quantum AI crack a mystery that has eluded astronomers for years? To understand that, we need to rewind. The James Webb Space Telescope wasn't originally designed to hunt for Planet Nine. Its mission was to peer into the deepest corners of the universe, capturing infrared light from the earliest galaxies. But in doing so, it also captured countless images of the outer solar system. Dim, distant objects moving against the backdrop of stars. Most of these were dismissed as noise, just more icy bodies in the Kuiper Belt. But buried in that noise was a signal. Enter the quantum AI. Unlike traditional algorithms, which analyze data linearly, this system operates on an entirely different level. Using principles of quantum probability and entanglement, it doesn't just look at individual pixels. It evaluates entire patterns across cosmic scales. For 72 straight hours, it processed terabytes of JWST data, calculating probabilities, gravitational influences, and light distributions. And then it found it, a slow-moving, shadowy presence, a gravitational anomaly warping the orbits of surrounding objects, a faint but persistent infrared glow where nothing should be. When the AI's final log flashed, anomaly confirmed. Candidate object detected, scientists knew this wasn't an error. This was a real, statistically significant detection, one that matched the theoretical predictions for Planet Nine almost perfectly. Estimates suggest this object has a mass between five to 10 times that of Earth, with an orbit so vast it takes tens of thousands of years to complete a single trip around the sun. If confirmed, this would be the missing piece explaining the strange orbital clustering of trans-Neptunian objects, bodies that, until now, seem to move as if guided by an invisible hand. But here's where things get even more fascinating. The AI didn't just spot an anomaly, it reconstructed it. Using quantum probability fields, it predicted where the object should be based on gravitational distortions and infrared reflections. What emerged wasn't just a single snapshot, but a dynamic model, a statistical ghost in the machine that slowly took shape across multiple data points. This wasn't like enhancing a blurry photo. This was like hearing a whisper in a hurricane and reconstructing the entire conversation. Now, before we go deeper, let's rewind a bit. The Planet Nine hypothesis wasn't born yesterday. It was first proposed in 2016 by astronomers at Caltech who noticed something bizarre. A group of distant Kuiper Belt objects all shared oddly aligned orbits as if something massive were hurting them. The mass suggested a planet, big, dark, and distant. But finding it? That was the problem. The outer solar system is vast, dark, and incredibly difficult to survey. Traditional telescopes struggled to pick up such a faint object against the cosmic background. That's where the James Webb Telescope changed everything. Its infrared capabilities allowed it to see heat signatures that optical telescopes couldn't. But even then, the data was overwhelming. There was simply too much noise, too many variables. That's why the quantum AI was the game changer. It didn't just look for a planet, it looked for the absence of expected patterns, the subtle warping of light and gravity that betrayed something hidden. And now, the evidence is mounting. The AI's detection aligns eerily well with the original Planet Nine predictions. The object's mass, its inferred orbit, even the way it distorts the paths of nearby objects, it all fits. 
But here's the real kicker. The AI also detected something unexpected. A rhythmic pulsing in the infrared signature. A wobble in its gravitational influence. Tiny deviations that suggest this object isn't alone. Could it have a moon? A ring system? Or is there something even stranger at play? Theories are already flying. Some scientists argue this is a classic ice giant, a rogue planet captured by the sun's gravity. Wink, some scientists argue this is a classic ice giant, a rogue planet captured by the sun's gravity. Others propose a more radical idea. What if it's not a planet at all? What if it's a primordial black hole, a relic from the early universe so dense it bends light around it? The infrared pulsing could be matter falling into it, a telltale sign of a black hole's presence. And then there's the wildest idea of all. Could this object be artificial? A megastructure? A relic of some ancient, advanced civilization? Before we spiral too far into speculation, let's ground ourselves. The most plausible explanation is still a planet, a massive, distant world that's been hiding in plain sight. But even that is groundbreaking. If confirmed, it would mean our solar system isn't quite what we thought. There's an entire chapter of planetary science we've been missing. And this is just the beginning. The quantum AI has given us coordinates a precise location where this object should be. Telescopes are now being pointed in that direction, and if they find what the AI predicts, it will be one of the biggest astronomical discoveries of the century. But what does this mean for us? Why does Planet Nine matter? That's where the story gets even more incredible, because this isn't just about adding another planet to the list. It's about rewriting the history of our solar system. If the quantum AI's findings are confirmed, we're not just talking about the discovery of a new planet. We're talking about a paradigm shift in our understanding of the solar system. Because Planet Nine isn't just some random rock drifting in the darkness. Its very existence challenges long-held assumptions about how planetary systems form, how objects migrate over billions of years, and even how our cosmic neighborhood came to be. Let's start with the most immediate question. How did Planet Nine get there? Current models of solar system formation suggest that the giant planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, formed closer to the Sun and then migrated outward over time. But Planet Nine, if it exists, doesn't fit neatly into that story. Its orbit is huge, stretching hundreds, maybe even thousands of times farther from the Sun than Earth. That raises two possibilities. Either it formed in place, which defies our understanding of planetary birth, or it was captured from somewhere else. And that second idea? It's mind-blowing. Some astronomers speculate that Planet Nine could be a rogue planet, a world that formed around another star and was later snatched by the sun's gravity. Imagine that, a cosmic orphan drifting through interstellar space for eons before our solar system adopted it. If true, it means our sun's family is bigger and stranger than we ever imagined. But here's where the quantum AI's data gets even more intriguing. The object's infrared signature isn't just consistent with a cold, distant planet. There's something off about it. The thermal emissions don't match what we'd expect from a simple ice giant. Instead, they flicker in a way that suggests dynamic, possibly even chaotic processes happening on or around it. This has led to a radical hypothesis. What if Planet Nine isn't a planet at all? Some theorists argue that the anomalies in the data could point to something far more exotic, a primordial black hole. These aren't the massive, star-devouring black holes we're used to hearing about. Primordial black holes are thought to be tiny, ancient remnants of the Big Bang, some no larger than a grapefruit but with the mass of a planet. If one of these were lurking in our outer solar system, its gravitational pull could explain the strange orbits of Kuiper Belt objects. But here's the wild part. A black hole that size wouldn't emit light, but it would emit hawking radiation, a faint glow of particles predicted by quantum physics. Could the infrared pulses detected by the AI be evidence of this? If so, we're not just looking at a new planet. We're looking at a piece of the early universe hiding in our own backyard. Of course, not everyone is convinced. Critics argue that a black hole would have other detectable effects, like X-ray emissions from matter falling into it. So far, those haven't been spotted, but the quantum AI's findings are reopening the debate. 
Because if there's even a chance that a primordial black hole exists in our solar system, it would be one of the most profound discoveries in astrophysics. And then there's the really out there idea, the one that makes scientists both excited and deeply skeptical. The AI detected something else in the data, anomalous rhythmic pulses in the object's infrared signature. Not random fluctuations, but a pattern. Some have dared to ask, could this be artificial? Before you dismiss this as pure science fiction, consider this. We already have a name for hypothetical alien megastructures, Dyson spheres, vast constructs designed to harness a star's energy. Could something similar exist around Planet Nine? Maybe not a full Dyson sphere, but something that emits structured infrared signals? The answer is almost certainly no, at least not in the way we imagine. But the fact that the question is even being asked shows just how strange this discovery is. Because if nothing else, the quantum AI has revealed that whatever is out there, it's not behaving like a normal planet should. So what's next? Right now, astronomers are scrambling to point every available telescope at the coordinates the AI has provided. The James Webb Telescope will take deeper, more focused images. Ground-based observatories will track gravitational perturbations. And if they find anything, whether it's a faint dot of reflected sunlight or an unexplained heat signature, it will trigger a scientific revolution. But here's the thing. Even if we do confirm Planet Nine's existence, the mystery won't be over. It'll just be beginning. Because the biggest question isn't what it is, it's how it got there. And the answer could rewrite the history of our solar system. The Implications of Planet Nine, Rewriting Solar System History If the quantum AI's discovery is verified, if telescopes finally spot this elusive object moving against the star field, we won't just be adding a new line to astronomy textbooks. We'll be confronting a fundamental question. How much of our solar system story have we gotten wrong? Because Planet Nine doesn't just exist in isolation, its gravitational influence appears to have sculpted the outer solar system, tugging distant Kuiper Belt objects into clustered, tilted orbits that puzzled astronomers for decades. But here's the catch. For its gravity to have such a profound effect, it must have been there for billions of years. And that creates a problem. Our current models of planetary formation suggest the early solar system was a chaotic place, with Jupiter and Saturn's migrations flinging smaller worlds outward. But Planet Nine's extreme orbit, far beyond Neptune, doesn't fit neatly into that narrative. If it formed closer to the Sun, something must have hurled it outward with unbelievable force. One controversial theory suggests it was ejected during a close encounter with Jupiter in the solar system's violent youth. But that raises another question. Why didn't it escape entirely? This is where the rogue planet hypothesis gains traction. Maybe Planet Nine did escape from another star. Billions of years ago, when the sun was still in its stellar nursery surrounded by sibling stars, it could have captured a free-floating planet. If true, this means Planet Nine might be a rare cosmic artifact, a preserved remnant of the sun's long-lost family. But the primordial black hole theory is even more disruptive. If confirmed, it wouldn't just change our understanding of the solar system. It would offer the first direct evidence that these exotic objects exist at all. Predicted by Stephen Hawking but never observed, primordial black holes could solve multiple cosmic mysteries, from dark matter to anomalous gravitational lensing events. Finding one in our own solar system would be like discovering a hidden key to the universe's deepest secrets. And then there's the broader implication. What else is out there? If we miss something as massive as Planet Nine for this long, despite centuries of astronomical observation, what other surprises lurk in the darkness? The quantum AI's success suggests we've only scratched the surface. There could be more distant worlds, more gravitational anomalies, even more black holes hiding just beyond our current detection limits. This is why NASA and other space agencies are already planning follow-up missions. Concepts like the Interstellar Probe, a spacecraft designed to venture hundreds of astronomical units into the Kuiper Belt, could go from speculative to essential. Imagine a probe flying by Planet Nine, snapping close-up images of a world, or a black hole, that spent 4.5 billion years in shadows. The data it would return could rewrite physics itself, 
but perhaps the most profound impact is philosophical. For centuries, we've mapped the solar system as a series of concentric circles, orderly, predictable, known. Planet Nine shatters that illusion. Its existence suggests our cosmic neighborhood is wilder, more dynamic, and more mysterious than we ever imagined. There are still monsters in the dark, and thanks to quantum AI, we're finally learning how to see them. As the search intensifies, one thing is certain. Whether Planet Nine turns out to be an ice giant, a black hole, or something even stranger, its discovery marks the end of one era of astronomy and the thrilling beginning of another. The outer solar system just got a lot more interesting. And the most exciting part? This may only be the first of many hidden worlds we're about to uncover.